Hi, I'm Joachim for Statistics Globe and in this video I'll explain how to make the points in a scatter plot transparent using the R programming language. In the video I'm going to show you two examples and both of these examples are based on the data frame that we can create with the lines 2 to 4 of the code. So if you run these lines of code you can see that a new data frame object appears at the top right of RStudio which is called data and if we click on this data object a new window opens which is showing the structure of our data frame. So as you can see, our data contains 10 rows and three columns, whereby the first two columns X and Y contain numeric values. And the third column is a group indicator, which contains the grouping value one or two to identify two different groups in our data. So let's assume that we want to draw these data with the basic installation of the R programming language. Then we can apply the plot function, as you can see in lines 6 to 10 of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the bottom right of RStudio that we have created a new scatter plot. And you can see that in this scatter plot, we have shown 10 points, 5 black points and 5 red points. And you can also see that the red points are overlapping the black points. Now let's assume that we want to make these points transparent to see the black points in the background a bit better. Then we can apply the functions of the scales package. And in order to use the functions of the scales package, we first need to install and load the scales package, as you can see in lines 12 and 13 of the code. I have installed the package already, so I'm just going to load it with line 13 of the code. And after running this line of code, we are able to use the functions of the scales package, such as the alpha function that you can see in line 19. And in lines 15 to 19 of the code, I'm using basically the same code as before. However, this time I'm specifying the alpha function and within the alpha function, I'm specifying the grouping column of our data. And I'm also specifying an alpha value that is responsible for the opacity of our points. So the larger this value is, the less transparent are our points. So if you run lines 15 to 19 of the code, you can see that our plot is updated and this time the points are shown with a certain level of opacity. Now in this first example, I have shown you how to draw a plot with transparent points using the basic installation of the R programming language and the scales package. However, it is also possible to create a scatter plot with transparent points using the ggplot2 package. And this is what I want to show you in the next example. So in order to use the functions of the ggplot2 package, we first need to install and load the package, as you can see in lines 21 and 22 of the code. I have installed this package as well, so I'm just going to load it with line 22 of the code. And after running this line of code, we can use the functions of the ggplot2 package, such as ggplot and geonpoint. So in lines 24 and 25 of the code, I'm creating a ggplot2 scatter plot without transparent points. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the bottom right of RStudio that a new plot has been created, which is showing the same data as our previous plot. However, this time the plot is displayed in this typical ggplot2 style that you might already know. And you can also see that the ggplot2 package is creating a legend to identify our two groups. Now let's assume that we want to make these points in the ggplot2 plot transparent. Then we can apply the alpha argument within the geonpoint function, as you can see in line 28 of the code. So the only difference of lines 27 and 28 compared to lines 24 and 25 is that I'm specifying the alpha to be equal to 0.5. So if you run lines 27 and 28 of the code, you can see that our plot is recreated and this time our points are shown with a certain level of opacity. So in this video, I have explained how to make the points in a scatter plot transparent. However, in case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail and I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video. Furthermore, in case you have liked this video, I would be very happy if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments and make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye bye.